This is quite possibly the strongest Mayal team in the game if you plan on just doing the absolute max damage in the first turn, which is what I'm gonna do. So long as I'm not facing other Miles, Estarosa here and, you know, Meli and, and Zaldras are gonna be stat lowered by Ludosiao, allowing me to actually reliably crit. But unfortunately, facing Asterosa means I, I won't be able to provide the attack buff from Tarmel. So instead, we're just going to make sure that we take away the dodge with the AoE skill. Boom. And then we go full on in. Meliodas getting him out of here. Look at that damage. And hitting basically every single crit with a 334,000 uh, level 1 skill. Now, the reason why I didn't buff with Tarmiel, first, again, I wanted to remove the dodge. Uh, if I buff with Tarmiel, the moment I attack, I actually lose the buff. So, this is the one thing which is a bit unfortunate, I wish. Green Sauriel, right, which buffs crit damage, would actually allow me to just buff the crit damage without having to rely on having buffs. But, it is what it is. I think that the critting is much stronger than having... Or guaranteeing the crits is much stronger than having the green sauro passive so let's proceed with this right here this aoe is gonna hit super hard mm -hmm. it's <laughs> this when he crits man look at that 300k on esterosa absolute monster damage what am i looking at Okay, now imagine we had a proper back unit for goddesses as well. Didn't have to rely on Ragnarok Bon. I mean, one can only assume we're getting one soon enough, right? Almost 400k level one. Yeah, good, good team, man. Oh, oh, I need to hit this on, like, Slater. I mean, Twigo already has low enough defenses that this is going to hurt a lot. So, let's kill the Arthur and then go for Twigo. Because I'm pretty damn sure this will kill Arthur. Let me do, um, like, a Tarmio attack or something first. This level 1 kills Arthur, and then we go for Twigo. Do you have Tarmel Link? You do. No, so close! Damn. The Tarmel Link actually saved him. No, I really wanted to see the level 2 on Twigo. He would have done so much damage. Goddess is gonna be looking absolutely insane once it's done. Absolutely insane. Uh, Askinner is actually a character that can't be lowered either. So let's instead just focus on letting Galfer die. So that we cannot... Oh, he cannot rank up Askinor. This is gonna hurt. Almost one shot Ludosio and Gaffer actually. A little more damage. And I would have actually one shot both Gaffer and Ludosio with a level 1 card. That only has a 100% multiplier. 100%. Th look, 100%. That's the whole multiplier. It has no damage increase from the multiplier of the card. The damage increase comes from double crit damage. So essentially, all of the damage from that card is just crit damage, raw crit damage. Crazy, right? And he's doing that much damage. Absolutely insane. Um, once this team is fully flashed out, it's gonna be nuts. Let's do this. And then this. As Askinor is now gonna have two debuffs that lower his damage. You can't lower Askinor's stats, but you can lower his damage. Oh, I just realized that's Tarmelink, true. Okay. Alright. Then we can just kill him so he doesn't get the ultimate. Although he is ult sealed by Tarmiel's, uh Holy Relic. No! We lose a goddess. Now my O is significantly weaker. You lose 10% damage increase and 7% attack related stats. You really don't want to lose a goddess on your side. Um, still, let's see this level 2. 
Although it's gonna hit significantly weaker. Also, you know, the more goddesses on the field, the more damage this card does too. Like it does 30% more damage per goddess on the field. Essentially. Still good though. All things considered. Not gonna lie though, it is a bit unfortunate, I think, that Mael doesn't work in anything else other than goddesses. I think if his passive was more broad or he could be used somewhere else, he would be so crazy alongside like Ascanor. Really unfortunate. But goddamn. <laughs> when you do use him with the goddesses, he does look pretty insane though. <laughs> Uh, imagine him side to side with Ascanor, the true Sun Grace characters. You look so cool. Not the case though, unless they, uh, when they drop the one ultimate holy relic in uh, a year, they make him count as a goddess for having the grace. I don't know, they're making Freya count as a goddess. Why not? It's Put on the attack buff. Oh, the attack buff doesn't even work. Like, I lose the attack buff instantly. Doesn't matter. Um, hmm. Even better. Since we're gonna lose the attack buff anyways, might as well do this. Do the attacks on Asterosa first. That attack does not nothing, because he has... Uh, that's Flood. Oh, he doesn't have Tarmelink. Was it Melee that had Tarmelink? Oh damn, I did the attacks first because uh, I thought Tarmir like, is going to bring him back uh, up to like max health after the uh, the first AoE there from my L, but no. I guess he wasn't the one. I didn't even notice Melee had Tarmir Link because he just got eviscerated. Okay. I like how large the wings from my L are. Look how big they are compared to like Ludociel. Uh... I want to go on Gaffer just to see the damage, but it's kind of a waste. It is a pretty big waste. Bro, he almost kills Gaffer. 632k level 2. Turn 1. I would have gotten an there, but... The thing is that if you kill Asker in turn 1 and team like this, and you don't kill anybody else. Galfrey just ranks up Ascanor, he does like a mega level level 3 AoE every time. I prefer to let that not happen. And we got a we got a good amount of damage reduction. Don't have to worry about Ascanor for now. Okay. Let's put on the attack buff. Uh No way he kills my... I'm gonna lower his damage with uh, both Miles debuff. Oh, Liz, Liz even dies. Both Miles debuff, and then obviously I have damage reduction, and every time they attack me, they get debuffed by Miles' uh, blue card, which lowers his damage. Or maybe not? I thought it would. Oh no, he does. Still did a lot, though. I mean, that's asking her. So now it allows me to do this. Missed both crits, but doesn't matter. None of them were being lowered by uh, Ludo CL, so, you know. It's really weird how super stupid strong Mayo is, but in a way, very balanced. And I think it's because he... It's exactly because he can't be in a team outside of the goddesses. So you can't use like Gaffer to rank him up or anything like that. So they made him like super strong. But even if he is super strong... Oh my god. <laughs> you can't make him like... Too annoying by just combining him with like, for example, like Mali, right? Mali is super strong on the demon team, but then you can also make him super annoying by just using him with Red Galfer and Summer Merlin, right? Man, it's crazy. I have even into damage reduction.
Askenor doesn't care. Although he didn't care, he didn't like get debuffed by uh, Tarmiel, so. Let's break that shield of yours. Let me actually just double attack with Mile here. It will double kill Liz. Oh my god, it, ki it killed the end from there. Did you see how much health the end had, f had before? She had like 70 or 75% of her health. And she just died. <laughs> That's pretty insane. The damage from the AoE card is so crazy. Ah, I, re I really want a way to make the AoE card look even better. The only way I can think of is like using Green Sauriel. But then I have to use Margaret. Um, I don't think this will actually kill. Because I'm disabled. But I got the attack buff. Oh, it's still killed. Even with no effect, just raw percentage uh, percentage damage. No effect whatsoever. I don't know if I, if I said this during the recording. I, I, I think I'm going brain dead. The only problem with using Ludosia right now is that if my all catches on, then people <laughs> are going to start just not being able to be lowered whatsoever in their whole team. So that's a problem. Um, I just want to use my all, or, or I just want to use Esterosa. Just one shot Smelly, level one, cool. I just want to use, use uh, Ludociel. Bro! That just... <laughs> Maybe I should have just not attacked Meliodas. Meliodas would not have gotten one shot by the level two, I don't think. Um, just because... He has like damage reduction. But goddamn. I'm actually pretty surprised the end died by that. I mean, I hit every crit because of the CL, but. That's pretty insane still. The end and Liz just got one shot by the level 2 card. If you forgive my deranged brain, I'm very tired. I am very curious to see what people are gonna be running with Mael, because I genuinely think he's a very, very strong character. Wait, is this a bot or not? I don't know. I think he's a really strong character. I'm really curious. Are people gonna be running just Margaret? And... Oh, does it not kill? No, it does kill. Of course it does. Just Margaret Sariel. Maybe Nanashi in the back for protection. I don't know. Like, the options are pretty limited. And... Even if, even if you, you know, agree that Mayo is really strong, Demons as a whole has like, just such a strong arsenal of like really powerful characters that it's really hard for me to argue that Goddesses are better. Really, really hard for me to argue that, you know? Um, so I think we might still see mostly Demons in the meta. But, you know, who knows? Maybe... Oh my god. The next 400k level 1. The next banner already will have um, some form of uh, a buff for the goddess team. And it will be more even in terms of like new characters. Because like, look, I'm using Ludosio here. Ludosio came out in 2020. You know what I mean? <laughs> he is so old. So... There is a long way to go for this team. And I'm really curious to see where it's going. Uh, you don't have Tarmalink. No, he was on melee. I'm really curious to see where it's going. What characters are going to come out that will make him super strong? Are they going to just release another Ludociel? They might. Like base Ludociel, like this one, just, you know, that, that does something else? Maybe. He has a decent relic with that gives him a lot of CC, so might be time to release a new base of this y'all. We'll figure out and find out. But until then, yeah. Uh... No! I want him to finish slicing Zelders like he does in the story. It's fine.